right, we are here with Rob Korolev from the Dallas Renegades. He's the Director of Communications and Media Relations. How are you today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Anytime. So this is the second go around for the XFL. What can people look forward to this time around? Well, the biggest thing is the quality of the football is going to be outstanding. We've got some great coaches on board, starting mm-hmm. with ours here in Dallas with right. Bob Stoops, who everyone knows quite well from his college uh, days, right. and also the quality of players we're going to have. You know, this is fundamentally this is going to be great football, mm-hmm. um, football that you're used to seeing, and, and you know, exciting football for North Texas. Right, exactly. So the Dallas Renegades' first home game is February 9th. What can fans look forward to that weekend? Well, it's going to be exciting to open our, our new venue. That's right. going to be one of the things fans will have to um, see, be able to see for the first time. Uh, Globe Life Park is currently undergoing a renovation right. uh, where they will um, transform it into a football venue right. so that we'll have uh, seating that will be brought in from the left field, what used to be the left field stands, mm-hmm. and uh, the field will run from what used to be the third base dugout out to what used to be the right field wall. So. Uh, that's progressing as expected, and, and we're excited to start there um, in uh, in February. Yeah, because you guys are sharing it with the uh, FC Dallas. They're kind of not their farm league, but they're I guess their minor league team, right? They're correct. The soccer yes. club will share it with us, so it's it, it'll fit football and soccer. Right. But we're excited to to share that space with them, and you know, in a venue that's so well known to people here in North Texas. Right. Exactly. You know, they're they're uh, there, there's a. You know, they, they care about the site and they have the great memories there, so we want to make some more memories. Well, let's go into that. So Globe Life Park does, in fact, have so many memories made by the Rangers, two World Series appearances and then multiple playoff berths. What can the fans and – or how excited is the team, really? You know, the team's very excited. They're starting our mini camp here this week, and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we have a coach who has said it publicly. You know, he, he's here to win. Right. You know, he's, he's not here to just – go through the motions so uh you know we want fans who are gonna want more football right you know we have uh spring football we're not here to compete with any other league we're a professional football league that Mm -hmm. will give fans here in texas more football and uh, as coach soups said it best you know we're not asking you to stop being cowboys fans we're just asking you to take (laughs) that jersey off after the super bowl put ours on right and then uh you know you can put your cowboys jersey back on after our season's over at the end of april there you go so, minicamp has started down in Houston. Everyone's down there, am I correct? Uh, minicamp is actually going to be here. In, oh, I'm in sorry. Minicamp is in, in the local markets for each. Uh, training camp in January is actually what's going to be down in Houston. Okay. So, is training camp always going to be? So, maybe next year this time, will it also be? Still to be determined. Okay. Uh, you know, this is an agreement for this year. And then, uh, just like everything else, I think that we do here in the XFL, we'll, we'll evaluate on a year-to-year basis. Right. Okay. That's good. So the XFO rules have not come out yet as of recording time. Uh, what can the fans look forward to if you're allowed to say anything? You know, it's just going to be it's going to be football that fans are used to. Right. You know, we're not doing anything gimmicky like they did uh, 19 years ago. Right. Uh, we're not totally changing the game, but we are trying to adjust some rules to make it a faster game, mm-hmm. to make it more fun for the fans. You know, our goal is to have a shorter game. Right. Uh, our commissioner Oliver Luck said it well. I thought where he said less stall and more ball. I like that. Uh, yeah. So he that's what we're looking for as far as XFL 2020. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I think when the rules come out here very shortly. The fans will be pretty excited to see some of them. I'm not at liberty to tell you publicly what they are yet, but uh, but I can tell you I, I'm excited about them. Right. So most people now recognize the above camera on the NFL mm-hmm. was actually uh, created in the XFL. That's correct. Do you know any more kind of uh, technology? There will be some technology components. Okay. Again, part of that announcement here coming up shortly. Fantastic. But some stuff that that fans are going to be say they're going to look at. I mean, I looked at it and I was right. like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know. So I think there'll be a lot of things that uh, you know fans say. Some things that they'll be excited to see for the first time, and other things where, just like I did, I said, wow, I can't believe we haven't thought of that before. Right. And that type of thing. Now, also, as of uh, recording time, actually tomorrow the um, jerseys or the uniforms will be revealed. Correct. Now. Obviously, this will come out afterwards. What can we look forward to? And obviously, the home and away will be different. And mm-hmm. how many variances are we looking at? We're looking at just the home and away jersey. Okay. Um, you know, so they're, they're going to be sharp looking jerseys mm-hmm. that we're excited to unveil. Um, players will get to see them first uh, tomorrow. Okay. And then, um, you know, we'll have some media availability after that. But, um, you know, I, I've seen them. They're, they're very sharp looking, I think. I'm excited to see them on our players. And, uh, you know, I think our players will be excited to wear them. Yeah, I've seen the coaches' reactions, and they seem to enjoy them quite a bit as well. Absolutely. So, now, 
on this podcast, we like to have, we're trying to find the best beats in Arlington. We have a little segment called the Tournament of Toppings. I don't know how much time you've spent here in Arlington, but what is your favorite pizza place either in Arlington or in the Metroplex? You know, I don't know that I have selected a favorite place in Arlington. Okay. Uh, it's funny that you asked that because my, my kids uh, call me a little bit of a pizza snob because oh, I'm originally from okay. the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> so I am particular about my pizza. Right. Um, either, there's actually a place in Dallas that I've enjoyed uh, called Mimi's, which is on Northwest Highway. I want to say I've been there at least uh, once. The, the owner is originally from the Brooklyn Bronx area right. of New York somewhere. So he, he knows what I'm used to growing up. I As a child, my family actually had a pizza pizzeria at oh, Delhi, really? and um, I grew up in New Jersey where there's pizza places quite abundant. Yes, without a doubt. <laughs> so I, I'm always um, looking for a good pizza place, so I'll be excited to try some of the ones you suggest here in Arlington. I'd say Bex needs a pizza off of Lamar and 30, probably your, your best bet for a good old uh, New York pizza. And then Old School on, um, what street is that? Abrams, I believe, is a very good one as well. Okay, so it's I'll very try popular. those out, absolutely. Uh, so with Bob Stoops as the head coach, what brought him to the Renegades and how hands-on has he been with this building the team? Uh, he's been very hands-on with every component. You know, um, he's assembled a great staff. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was in the draft room for our draft back in October, and I was just really impressed with, you know, the staff they had put together and the way they worked and the way Bob trusted them. Mm-hmm. You know, he hired the people that he wanted to hire. Um, you know, he's excited to coach professional football. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it's a great setup for him because his uh, roots are obviously just north here in Oklahoma. Right. Uh, his son still plays for the University of Oklahoma, so it gives him an opportunity to see him play and then also be involved with our team, uh, you know, for a few months out of the year. Right. Well, that's great. So how can people um, continue to follow the adventures of the Renegades before they obviously kick off and then um, follow all that? Well, you know, there's a couple different ways. Obviously, our social media channels are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, right. um, you know, at XFL Renegades. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, our website, XFLRenegades.com. And then, more than anything, coming out to our games. You know, yes. tickets, uh, season tickets, single game tickets are currently on sale. One of the things we're really excited about is this is football, the high quality level of the football, but also the affordability of it. Right. You know, our tickets are anywhere from 20 to $80 per game. So, in theory, if you have a family of four, you could bring out – you know, your entire family for less than $100. Which you uh, can't do at a certain other football <laughs> place here. It's challenging in some other football yeah. locations. Let's just put it that way. Exactly. Well, thank you for coming on, and we look forward to uh, the Renegades and talking to you later. Absolutely, John. Right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Well, that was our show. Uh, special thanks to all of our guests and a big shout out to Rody John, who took the lead on several segments this week. Thank you. One team, one dream, guys. All right, Rody, what is happening in our fair city? December 28th, we've got Way Jennings and Cagney Frizzle at Arlington Music Hall. That starts at 730. December 31st, Roaring Twenties New Year's Eve party at Pearl's Cherokee starting at 9 p.m. Also on December 31st, Lone Star New Year's Eve Live at Texas Live starting at 8 p.m. Also December 31st, Division is celebrating their fourth anniversary. That starts at 4 p.m. Ooh. January 3rd, Growl is hosting the Colors of Time CD release party. And on January 4th, Truth Vinyl is hosting the Coho Jojo Tour with Court Hong and Joseph Fisher Scram starting at 8 p.m. And every Wednesday at New Main Brewing, Embrace Curiosity Showcase, open mic, hosted by Joseph Law. Come on and bring a guitar, some songs, and have a delicious brew. Tag us and send those pictures over to us on Facebook, Arlington Citizen Media, Twitter, ATX Citizen Media. Tag us on Instagram, Arlington Citizen Media, and send a, send those pictures the old-fashioned way. Email arlingtoncitizenmedia at gmail.com. Also go to our website, www.arlingtoncitizenmedia.com Don't forget to subscribe and give those five-star reviews of the downtown at Apple Music, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and also hit us on SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. All right, thank you so much for listening. Go rediscover your city.
skip that because it was so slow. All right, you ready? It's like the sloth. I'm ready. Ready, Chris.